Hello, hello, this is Grimdark13, and I am here with the second playthrough of a certain game that I actually quite enjoyed. As you can see, save files from Beta 4.3 and earlier are no longer compatible with Uranium 1. If you do not remember, a certain fake mon game that I played and actually played through completion was Pokemon Uranium. Just today, on August the 6th, it was completed, it was released, completed, and I decided I need to play this, I need to do another Let's Play. But, and, this is the best part, all my Pokemon are still in the game. They can be the tran- I'm going to have the entire team back from the last step game. Everyone. Everyone. Including all my shinies, and also, I get a, another mystery gift Pokemon, I think it was. Also, look for a special NPC in Kevlar Town. There is a gift for you there. I want that gift, because it is a special Pokemon. So. And we're gonna play regular mode, because the Nuzlocke mode kicked my ass last time I tried that. Yes, I am sure I want to play regular mode. Oh, who's there? Who is it? Oh, hello there. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. I can't remember what your face looks like. Okay, I need to give you a good voice. My name's Bambo. But if you find that hard to pronounce, you can just call me the Pokemon Professor. You're the kid who's applying for a job, right? Great. What, the lowdown on what you'll be doing? No thank you, no info required. Show me whatever. Oh, it's an Oten. We humans share this sort of world with Pokemon, with creatures known as Pokemon. More than mere creatures, Pokemon possess astonishing powers and remarkable intelligence. I want to try to give this guy a Steve Irwin accent, actually. Get out of here, Norton. I don't like you. People and Pokemon coexist in many ways. Some Pokemon are not kept as pets, others help us. Uh, and still others are used in battle by trainers such as yourself. Oh, okay, there it goes. But there's still so much we still don't know about Pokemon. That's my job. I study Pokemon for a living. Specifically, I'm an expert on Pokemon elements. Every Pokemon has an elemental type, and each type has its own strengths and weaknesses. But why do they exist? Are there no types we haven't discovered yet? Oh, but I'll tell you where more. Stay on the job. We'll pop to my lab tomorrow to get the first Pokemon. Now, if you just fill out this form here. Okay, so, when we first, when we played through this, we played through it as this guy. Him, her. That's the ambiguous one. But that one still seems kind of awkward, but he just looks like a total dumbass. And, what is up with her hair? So obviously, we have to choose this one again. Yes, I am sure, Tim. And... We'll go with my actual name for this one. Alright. Yes, my name is Kenny. Here we go... It's not playing Slate because we have a full box of Pokémon. <laughs> and like five of them are level... And like five or six of them are level 60. Ten years ago, Kenny's family lived in Beale Beach City, the largest city in Tandor. What the fuck it? You don't look like the other, like the one from the older version. The father, Kellen, there was a brave and talented Pokemon ranger. The mother, Lucille, was a brilliant scientist and an expert on nuclear energy. They always found time to spend at home with the young Kenny. The Tandor region was at peace, and Lucille's company was working on a form of clean energy that would change the world. The future seemed bright until. I love the cuts. I love how they actually. Have... Ooh, this is a. This cutscene actually looks different now. It was an ordinary day at the nuclear power plant where Lucille worked. As part of 
the inspection I brought in a specialist to take a look at the electrical system. Hold up, why are you there? Ken, have you finished your diagnostics? Uh, what voice should I give him because he actually does talk to us again. Oh well. Yes I have. Everything seems to be working perfectly. This generator you designed really does its job well, you see. Everybody has finished their work, but they're ready for lunch. Oh boss, you want more? Look at this! Strange. The temperature readings are far higher than normal. Either we need to reset the thermometer, or... The, the reactor is leaking a massive amount of heat. It can't be the thermometer! I just checked that! Sir... What a little bitch as we is! <laughs> oh god. That's music. I don't know who's talking. Dumbass bitch! You must have walked the direction. Why you do this to all the child? With Cameron's help, all of the scientists were able to escape unscathed. Except Lucille, who later became a Pokemon, probably. I'm just assuming that because I still haven't seen the legendary of this game so far. And this is the full game, so I should know if I'm right or not. And I'm hoping. I get answers. She was never seen again after that day. The radiation leaking from the broken reactor made the surrounding area uninhabitable for, for many years, foiling any attempt to try and search for her. And then our... yeah, our douchebag father. The loss of his wife had a profound effect on Kellen. His personality changed, he became cold and dedicated to his job. In time, he promoted to he got promoted to chief of the Tandor Pokemon Rangers. However, he became too busy to care for his child. You dickbag! This is why I have to go on a journey! <laughs> so young Kenny was sent to live with her elderly aunt in Auntie in Moki Town. What Auntie? Ten years passed. Auntie's health waned. Supporting the child was too much work for her. Fortunately, Ernest... Ernest Bambo, the local Pokemon professor, was looking for a research assistant. Two kids from Moki Town applied, Kenny and their childhood friend Theo. It was common for youths of a certain age to receive a Pokemon and travel the region as a Pokemon trainer. And so Kenny's journey began. Journey. No, bitch, I don't want to. <laughs> Alright, let's see. If I'm correct, there should be... There it is, with you on that. Oh, I can't wait to get all my Pokemon back. Alright, bitch, I'm leaving you. Hey, sweetie. But today's a big day, isn't it? I can't help but feel glum seeing my little one all grown up and leaving home. Oh, if only those poor, these old bones could do more so that I could help support us both. But we both know that you're ready for this. You are that Theo boy. Always following in your footsteps like the crabby baby hills. That one. You've always been so capable. But I wonder about that little bitch. He is young now, I'm sure his father can. No, what an alarm to go unless he was so he was shown. Anyway, to celebrate your big day, I got you a present. Go ahead and open it, you little bitch. I got running shoes. I'm going to run away from home now. Old Z to run. Okay. I don't. Yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna leave you now. I don't care what you have to say now. Yes. Yeah, right. I don't care about my father. 
Say hi to that nice professor man for me, will you? I want to fuck his brains out. And if I don't, and if I, you don't mind stopping by again after you get your first Pokemon, I'd love to see it. Yes, thank you. Finally, I can abandon you. I shall never return. Okay. Hold up, this map has changed. I, w I know the, I know the research lab was up here before, and that's why I went right up there. But then there's, but this entire layout looks like it's changed actually. Oh god, can't go through behind that tree. Holy crap. This is huge now. Okay, I know that. I guess we'll just get our starter and uh, end the episode there since I babbled on a little bit earlier. Oh god. Hey, we <laughs> up! Gonna give you the most annoying advice you want. Fuck boy. Where do you think you're going, huh? Are you trying to get to, get to the lab before me so you can get the very Pokemon? Well, that ain't gonna happen because I'm gonna get the strongest one first. Try to keep up, Kenny. I'm going to go and get my ass handed to me because we don't get to choose our fucking Pokemon in this game. Okay, if I get the... I should have saved because I really don't want the water type. Like, uh, but if I get the water type, I guess I'm going to have to deal with it. I should have saved. Okay. I'm just skipping over all this because... Yeah, I... I'm just getting green. Uh, your job will have trouble with Ross Tandil. Observing and capturing many different kinds of Pokemon will help me with more research of on Pokemon elements. Or three Pokemon here that will aid you on your journey. Before you get your starters though, you both will take the Pokemon Trainer Aptitude Test. Test? I didn't study for any test. I thought you were going you were going to give us a rare power for Pokemon. No, no, don't worry. It's not the kind of test you have to study for. It's just a way to determine what kind of Pokemon you will be. Different sort of Pokemon are better suited for different battling styles. A sort of Pokemon will be your lifelong partner. And it's important for you to work well together. Yeah, yeah, I get it. Enough talking, I want to get my Pokemon, you little cocksucker! She's she's dead. You're not very patient, are you? Alright. If you want to know more about what's uh, on the test before you then you talk to my aid. Now, then are you ready to take me? Wait a minute. I I can wait. Hold up. Okay. Where is the This is a nice layout. Holy shit, I love this. Okay, so I saved the game. Why did I save the game? Let me repeat. I don't want the water starter for this one. I want something else. Yes. Excellent. So without further ado, when you've got a new kind of Pokemon in the wild, what is your first reaction? Throw a Pokeball at it. I shouldn't like that. Uh, good, both of you. Oh, so, okay. Okay, so, I'm going to try to choose, um, Gonna lean more towards this one now. Oh my god, you little fuck boy, you don't even know where a TM is? I'll, I'll tell you later. Let's move on with the next question, shall we? Which of the following Pokemon will win in an all out battle? Obviously, it's. Okay. It would either be Gliscor or Ampharos. Gyarados would just get it. the ass. Yeah. Is it possible to. Is it possible to fail this test? No, it isn't. Now this is your final question. So answer it honestly. What is your motivation for becoming a Pokemon trainer? Oh, me. Honestly, I like to explore the region. No question about it. I'm gonna be a Pokemon master and nobody's gonna stay in my way. Oh, hard. I dig your spirit, kid. 
Well, that's uh, it for the true not aptitude test. I better get my, I better get my fucking uh, meta links or on links or whatever the fuck it's called. I want the grass one. Give me the fucking grass type. Please give me the grass type. I don't want the water type just because I chose one blue answer. Can I? Go ahead and save. Okay, yeah, it's definitely gonna be the grass type. This is the first one, this was the first Pokemon I ever got when I played this game. Yeah, the very first time. All that, all that time ago. I did it. Oh, thank god it didn't freeze up, okay. <laughs> okay, give me my fucking Pokemon. What'd you like to give me? We are going to name you something impressive. harder to think of than I thought. You know what, we're gonna name you Grim. No, not Gim. Grim. Grim. There we go. Thank you. Keyboard. You don't need to fuck up money. Hey, I'm Charlie Rain, you little asshats. Can I got the restore already? When do I get mine? I'm done analyzing your results, Theo. Oh god, it's making me watch this for him. Seriously, we already know what the fuck he's gonna get. Oh dear lord. is a ass pack. That thing... I already have its evolved form with a Mega Stone on it in my box. Yes, my first Pokemon! Kenny. What's this shit? You have a Pokemon. Now I have a Pokemon too. You know what this means, right? You little bitch. Oh, oh, please, not in the lab. I feel bad for all these professors who have to deal with the little, the little fuck-ass survival who wants to just battle in the middle of the lab. Oh my god. This looks way nicer than it did before. Holy shit. So much nicer. I cannot believe how nice this section looks. Well, I can't believe. Don't I have like a fact? Don't I have like. What the fuck is this shit? What the fuck is this shit? Why the fuck he's got water gone? Why the fuck does he have water gun? I'm looking at this thing first. No, I, I meant to summon it. Why is your ability? Radio battle armor. Why does why does this electox have water gun and I don't have shit? I hit that potion up because this is what this started off with. Why? Why did it have water gun to start off with? Okay, that's irritating too. Fucking lose 
finish this fight, I'm going to be pissed. Because there is honestly no reason I should lose this fight. Are you fucking kidding me? If I get hit one more time after this, I'm dead. Oh, thank God, it let me win. Thank you! Give me that fucking experience, I deserve that. That was BS with that to warm up. I know I'm, I'm not too weak to it, but it's just the principle of the thing. How? I'm supposed to be the b b best trainer ever. That's impossible. Good trainers never lose. I, I really can't get crazy. Please don't cry, like Theo. Here, I'll heal your Pokemon for you. Your Pokemon will heal. I'm not doing your voice for this one. Well, between your starters and Kenny's, there's... This has a type of advantage. Water beats water, water beats grass, and grass beats water. That's the elemental type triangle. Well, one of them at any rate. Learning the master not type matchups is an important part of being a trainer. So I think I'm actually going to do a long extended episode so that just to uh, get this uh, off the ground because I want to get to Kevlar Town so that I can go and check out all, so I can show you all my Pokemon from the last time. But you shouldn't be too... But you shouldn't be so important to judge him. He is just a kid after all. I expect uh, he'll soon discover that training Pokemon isn't as easy as he imagined. to entrance a rock to one by the edge of town. Theo, I will teach you both how to catch Pokemon. Alright, so I don't know how long this episode's actually gonna run for. All I know is that I gotta go get the little master. I'm gonna assume that his house is still in the same general location as before. So I don't think the town actually changed all that much. So I think it's right in here. No, it's not. Sorry, lady. Little boy, what are you playing? Pokemon Uranium? Oh god. Pokemon Red is so retro, I've got to the back there, so... Yeah, they changed things. What did you say to my son? He ran up so crying and locked the door behind him. He won't let tell me what's wrong. I'll come downstairs. I swear if you tell anything to hurt him, I'll fucking break your kneecaps. Well, so that's how it is. So I overreact. So he got the weaker starter and you beat him in a battle. I can see. I see that explains that I would be best off too. Oh, she listened to me, sure. But losing is so much, is as much important as being a trainer as winning. Shadows always set on this day being perfect. So losing right after that is somewhat of a shock. Still crying on so if anything, but something has to learn. Free air, you little bastard child of mine! Go downstairs this instant! Theo, you can't cry every time you lose! You battle, you big shit! I don't even know what I'm saying anymore! That's just more of being the trainer, you little fuck boy! But it isn't fair! Can you get the bad stuff started on me? No, I'm never gonna win! You're not have to catch more Pokemon to balance out your team's weaknesses. Didn't you learn anything in trainer school? Besides a will and Pokemon, to still win, even at a disadvantage. There's no sense in giving up before you even begin. Please, yes, yes, Dad. 
Oh, three up! I don't always be around to pick you up when you're feeling down. So try and be strong for yourself, okay? Oh god, I'm killing my throat. Oh god. Johnny! Please be patient with my son. I know he's a little fuckboy, but he is a child. He looked up to you, you know? He wants to be just like you. Oh, I nearly forgot. Johnny, Theo, I have something for both of you. But you like a present. Mine better be better. Oh god. I have to take a break from doing voices. Oh god. I think this is where we get our codex. Pokepod, okay. That's nice. I'm, I'm just gonna take a quick drink of some chocolate milk. Okay. Okay, much better. Ugh. I'm not doing the voices still. Ooh. I forgot how much strain that did on my... That does. Yes, red is so much cooler than my... Whatever color I got. I got, like... Epsilon, I have to make sure I go there. I have to go there. I didn't go there in my last playthrough because I made a few mistakes. Um, do we have a no. Oh, it just goes in a big loop. That's awesome. Let's get a better look at Digrim first. Okay, Warchinx is a grass steel type. Guarding nature, I think that's like a defensive nature. Like I always say, I don't know the natures of Pokemon. That is, if I were a Pokemon professor, that would be the last thing I study. Um, then we've got, uh, as we saw in the battle, battle armor. Um, that def the special defense is our highest uh, special attack, which we can't even use yet. Alright. So we're going to get to Kevlar Town, which is my, which was my original, which was actually my original goal for this episode because I wanted to go and make sure that all my Pokemon were there before I proceeded very far. Hey there, can I hear you? And now that you hear me all right here, it's time to begin our first lesson as a Pokemon trainer and a real researcher. Now watch it closely. sense to me, actually. I mean, Professor Oak had a fucking pitchy. And that's awesome. But you just took the third starter that no child is gonna get. Because there's only two children in town, apparently. Now, the next step is to read the night and hope we'll make it easier to catch. I've told you so much. Okay. Can we hurry this along? I don't like how he just kind of slashed a Pokemon from the back of the head whenever they didn't know he was there. But I will say I like how, how the game was laid out to where you see instead of making you go into the event to uh, the battle. You already know all this shit. Okay, what are you getting? Pokeballs? A Pokedex and hopefully Pokeballs. Thank you. 
Yes, we know all this. Let me proceed. Let me proceed. Kevlar Town. The other side of Route 1. Yes, I know. Thank you. God, stop giving me shit. So, I believe that there are over 150 Pokemon that were implemented in this game. 90... I want to say like 98% of them are the fake mod, which I think I'm going to actually try to do a catch em all challenge or something. I don't know yet, because there are 8 Pokemon that aren't available in the game yet. I don't know which ones they are. But I'm hoping that the main legend of the game is available. Okay, so I want to see if these Pokemon are available. Kevlar Town. And I'm not going to catch any Pokemon on this route. I will, because I want that uh, special Pokemon to be the first one that I have. I'll fight all you motherfuckers. Nothing. What is that Just... Is that your Chien Monk? And you know me, child, so... since I don't have a grass type attack. So I don't have anything that's stab, I just have scratch and growl, I suppose. And there it is. Cup up. I want that. That's one of the important ones that was in that. This is like the caterpillar in this game. Oh dear Lord, I have to hit it one more time. Just hit it 
one more time and then I'll throw up on the wall. Items that I had were also got from uh, my Pokemon also got transferred. That'd be great because that would mean I already have the experience share. Alright, so we got Cup Lug. to demo if you surfed in this place you would end up being able to just start surfing across the ground this little guy. I just read wrong on the, the 
on the Tumblr post. Okay. Anyways, Dragon Fairy. This is gonna be interesting. I don't know if this thing evolves. So it's a docile nature. And then it's special defense. And then it's got Charm, Metronome, and Dragon Rage. Okay, so we've got our first three Pokemon. was looking forward to this game being released in its entirety because that's it's just an amazing just an amazing Pokemon game and I can't wait to get all these guys up there in levels alright until next time bye bye